but I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a Fuck you to you people, um, Fuck you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast. It's your boy, LAC, and I am so happy you're here with me. Little Nas X is back on it, and he actually made a video recently apologizing to the Christian community for his music video, but he really wasn't apologizing, but he was apologizing and trying to get people to see where he was coming from. Let's take a look at the video, and let's react to it. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply cause, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock, this wasn't like a, you to you people um fuck you to the christians like you know it wasn't it was not that it was literally me saying oh i'm back i'm back like jesus like that was like the whole thing i'm not the first person to dress up as jesus i'm not the first rapper i'm not the first artist and i won't be the last um and i know like given my history with you know the call me by your name video Anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. That just was not the case with this. And I will say though, with the communion video, with me eating the crackers and juice, I uh, I thought that video was gonna be the video to lighten the mood, to take it down like less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do with kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of um, you know, the reality of what it is, you know, it's me eating the commune, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard, though. I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100% or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. All right, let's we're going to stop right there. Y'all can go watch the remainder of the video if you want. But um, let me just address a couple of things. Um, Little Nas X, if you happen to watch this video and I hope you get to see this video, the Lord is not someone you can mock. And let me be honest with you. Jesus came for those who needed a physician. He did not come for those who were already you know, saved. He came for those who needed saving. Now, that was the first time when he came. The second time that he comes, he's not coming as a lamb. He's coming as a lion. So that means if you don't get right with Jesus and you do not accept him as your Lord and Savior, when he comes, you will be cut, right? You will be part of the people that miss out on eternal life with him in heaven. However, your eternal life will be in hell, the lake of fire. Jesus died for your past, present, and future sins. That's what I want to tell you, little Nas. He died for your past, your present, and for your future sins. And there is nothing that you can do that will push him away from you. Now, if you are really ready and truly ready to repent, you go ahead and do that and ask him to come into your heart and he will begin to work with you and change you. Right. But you cannot step in a place and, and be prideful and say, like he said, I'm not really here to apologize. I just want to clear my own head. It has everything rooted in pride. This man, some people can say this is a good step in direction. But the reason why we as Christians were upset and angry is because the world treats Christianity like a piece of trash. 
Number one, the world never goes against any other religion. You don't see anybody making videos about the Islamic religion. You don't see that, but you always see it against Christians. Why? Because we are looked at as, as trash. But the thing is, what you have to understand is, the truth exposes the darkness. And so the demons are just upset that Christianity is the true uh, religion, is true. And then not only that, you're here saying if everybody who was a Christian was to follow Christianity completely by the book, the world will be unbearable and unlivable and it will be messed up. That's what you said. So is this an apology video or is this like you're throwing jabs at the same time? And not only that, man, if you really really were apologizing take down the video take it down no but you're making money from it right you're getting attention you're getting views you're not going to take it down the bible makes it clear that when you repent you turn away right the bible says jesus said if your right eye causes you to sin pluck it out if your arm causes you to sin cut it off you remove the situation you remove that thing that is causing you to stumble so man little nas listen your soul is important to Jesus, and your soul is important to the devil. But Jesus gave his life in order to win you over. He gave his life, he laid it down, and then he rose on the third day so that you can accept him and you will have everlasting life with him in Christ Jesus. And the devil is also here tempting you and giving you the desires of your lust and the desires of your flesh to keep you stranded and locked up, thinking that this is how life is supposed to be. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Your apology to me, was it really an apology? And you are you apologizing to God or are you apologizing to Christians? Don't apologize to Christians. Don't apologize to us. We cannot put you in hell and we cannot put you in heaven. Jesus is the one you should be talking to. Don't talk to me. Don't care about the Christians who are making all these videos. If you really care about the fact that you want to apologize or you may have offended the Christians, forget the Christians. What about the God of the Christians? That's who you should be worried about. That's who you should be talking to. That's who you should be coming out and saying, I'm sorry, God. You know, even if you're not real, even if you are real, I apologize. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm sorry. And if you are real, please forgive me. You don't want God to be angry with you. When you read the Old Testament, when God gets angry, he gets angry. And you don't want him to be angry with you. And you are playing on thin ice, man. You're playing on thin ice. And some people may applaud you. And the fact that you have Christian fans, that's crazy. Some people may applaud you for what you did, for what you just did. I'm not applauding you, brother. I'm not saying good job for saying something because you didn't even care. You're saying it for your own gain. You're trying to get yourself to feel better. You're not doing it from a place of conviction. You're doing it because you you, you hate the fact that so many people are, are coming at you and the, the amount of attention that you wanted, the positive affirmation that you wanted, you're not getting that and you're getting negative attention and you want to take it off you. And the thing is, you are... You still have the video on your account. You still have it on your account. So, brother, I'm not I'm not angry with you. I don't pray that something bad happens to you. All I'm saying is, man, come from a genuine place, a sincere place, not because you're trying to please people or trying to get people on your side. You said it. You know it's not going to pass over just like that. So your job is to go to God, is to seek God and say, I apologize, not to human beings, who cares about what people think? What God is saying, that's what matters. A lot of Christians are upset. Why? Because it's righteous indignation, a righteous anger. You know what that means? It means that we are filled with the anger of God. And that's why we're speaking up. And if we're filled with righteous anger, don't come to us and apologize. This is not a, a, a thing where you go to a father in the Catholic church. Listen, go to God yourself and apologize and beg for mercy and forgiveness and get right with him. That's what you need to do because all these that you have here is vanity and you can lose it in an instant, in the blink of an eye. Your money can't save you. Your fame can't save you. Your recognition and your accolades can't save you. Your fans can't save you. There's only one man who can save you. He gave his life for you and he's still calling you, man. You either want him or you don't, but don't act like you really care and you're sorry when you really don't care and you're not sorry. That's all I got to say. Like this video, comment, and let me know what you think. And Ludenaz X, let's pray for him.
and pray that God touches his heart and he comes around. See you when I see you with your boy.